Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up parental controls on Windows. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, for you to set up parental controls on Windows, what you need to do first is you need to have your account linked first on your Windows account. So typically at the bottom left here, go to the type here to search section. Just type in the following, which is going to be account. And from here, choose the option that says other account, or if you see account privacy settings here. So in this case, just choose the other users option. Then from here, go to your info. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we sign in into our account. So in this case, if you see the uh, sign in or use Microsoft account instead, go ahead and click on it and lock in into your Microsoft account. So in this case, you could either use Hotmail or Outlook.com as a means of your um, Microsoft account. In this case, once you've logged in here, we're now ready to actually manage or set up parental controls. Now to set up parental controls, what we need to do is we need to go to the left panel here, choose the options as family and other users. Now from here, what we need to do instead of using other users here, make sure to choose the your family option. Let's go ahead and click on add a family member. Now from here, what we need to do is we now need to initiate the setup process. In this case, what we need to do is we need to create an account for them or just basically enter their email address here. But in this case, we'll be creating a new account for our child. In this case, let's go and click on create one for a child. Now, what we need to do is we need to specify the details itself. In this case, that includes the new email. So you can either, again, either use Outlook.com or Hotmail.com. So as an example, I'm going to use this email here. And let's just say it is going to be a child uh, account. Let's go and click on next. And from here, we now need to enter a password that we want to use for account. In this case, make sure to keep this to yourself. Uh, do not share this to other people. But in this case, if you also want to receive information tips and other offers from Microsoft, you could go and take this. But you could also untick it if you want to. In this case, let's go and enter the password that we want to use. So in this case, let's go and click on the next button here. And from here, what's the name of your child? So in this case, let's go ahead and enter the actual name here. So as an example, I'm going to say it is going to be a junior account. So just enter junior here. From here, let's go and click on next. Now from here, we need to choose our country or region and as well as, well as the birth of date. In this case, let's go ahead and enter those details and click on next. So it's going to start creating the account and start creating the account itself. This case is now going to ask you to basically solve the puzzle here. Let's go and click on next. And from here, we need to choose the way for us to solve this one. Let's go ahead and fix this one. Click on submit and it's going to say done and verification complete. In this case, it should create your account here. So let's just wait for it to load up. And in that case, that should create the account. But in some cases, if you see or encounter any issues with the account creation process, typically you should be able to see them in this the other user section here. But then again, if you encounter any issues, just click on add a family member here. And from here on, just enter the email address that we just created. So for example, since we use this one, let's go ahead and enter our email address here. And from here, let's go and click on next. From here, let's go ahead and choose member. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and click on invite. Now, in this case, that should send the invite itself. So let's go ahead and check our Outlook. And now currently I'm in my child's account or Outlook account here. So you should see or you should or that account should actually receive a family, family safety email here. Let's go ahead and click on the accept into invitation button here. And from here, that should accept the invitation for the account to join our family. So in this case, let's just wait for it to load up and redirect us to the next page. So in this case, this should, this should actually show you this page here. Let's go and click on OK. And from here, again, let's just wait for it to fully load up. Now from here, it should redirect you to family safety here. Click on join now. And from here, that should actually show you or redirect you to family safety here and that should onboard you and join you into your account. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to now start uh, organizing or editing our current account. 
Now in this case, I actually switch over to my main account here, which is in this case, my account here. So in this case, as you can see, we now have our account. So this is us and we have the pending main member here. Now, if you don't see the option here that actually says that they are already accepted into the account itself, you can go and click on the accept now button here and click on accept now. Now from here, they will, this will actually sign you out from your account and you might need to re-log in into the other account that we just created for our child. In this case, just enter the password and let's go ahead and proceed to the next window. Now again, you should see this pop-up here. Just click on the join now button and that should join you into the family group. In this case, you should be able to see your account here. So in this case, the next thing you want to do on the other account for your child here is you need to start connecting devices. For example, let's go and click on how to connect device here. And you have the option to either connect your Windows 10 device, Xbox console, Android phones, and iPhones. For example, for Windows, what you need to do is you need to go to your settings, go to account. So in this case, you need to uh, actually add your account here to Windows 8 device and organize it the following way. You will need to do the following here. So in this case, you need to go to family, other people, and under the, your account, select the following name, which is going to the name of this account here and select the allow option. And your account should be now set as the local user. Now, if you want to add them or add a device for Android phones, you need to basically scan this QR code or search for family safety on the Google Play Store app. Now, in this case, you should be able to start managing devices here and apps and games. So in this case, you should be able to see the connected Windows devices, Xbox devices, Edge here if they are currently locked in, as well as mobile if they added a device here. Now, once the child account actually accepts the invitation, it should look something like this one. In this case, if you want to start managing their account, you go and just click on their name here. And you should be able to start connecting or just basically magic managing their devices now in this case again if you want to connect a device here you can go ahead and click on how to connect a device here and just follow the on-screen steps that you see here like for windows 10 and even for android phones and for iphone as well now in this case once you've done that you should be able to see your devices now connected in this account here now the great thing about family safety here is you can actually start managing their time on their account like for example if you've connected a windows 10 account here you could actually set the time for it so for example maybe on mondays we want to set this to maybe just a little bit on four hours in this case the schedule available times for when they can use it will be from 7 a.m to 10 p.m but you could go ahead and change this if you want to but for now let's go ahead and click on done now, in this case, they are limited to four hours of screen time when they're on their device here. And basically, it is only available from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. So in this case, they need to request further access or extensions if they want to further use their device. Now, in this case, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.